So I want to share the robot zine activity with you. And it's a really great way to explore the impacts of computing while also exploring robotics, but without robotics since it's an unplugged activity. Uh, so why a zine? What is a zine? It's a self-made publication. And somebody wrote about it that it allows people of all interests and agendas to voice their opinions, art, and rants to a wide audience in a relatively cheap and fun way. And the future of robotics is definitely a subject that needs a diverse set of voices thinking about and sharing their ideas. So what do you need for this activity? It's really simple. You can print out the template that I've provided or use a plain piece of paper. The other thing I would suggest is using the discussion guide, which uh, you'll find in the module, and also either preparing some design challenges ahead of time or working with your students to brainstorm some challenges. I've provided some challenges that include things like insufficient staffing for elder care, so how could robotics help there, companion robots to help fight against social isolation and loneliness, helping children with autism feel comfortable with face-to-face -face interactions, and construction robot assistants that can learn from humans and make construction work less dangerous and strenuous. So what does the zine look like? So you're actually gonna fold it, and I'll show you the, how to do that. It's a little origami exercise. But you're gonna have a title for your robot, and I created this robot a few years ago because I broke my leg and I live in a four-story building, so I really thought it would be nice to have somebody, some robotic help getting me up and down the stairs. So I called mine the Walkbot. And on this page, the students are going to sketch a design of their robot and then label some of its features. So mine includes sensors for the stairs and sensors for user input, like how much help to give. The next page is the special powers. You know, what sensors will your robot use and why? So mine senses the level of help needed, senses the type of stairs, whether it's length, height, or number, and adjusts the size to fit the user. And finally, they're gonna write a code of conduct, three rules that will guide their robot's interaction with humans. And this is so super important. And when I first started doing this activity, I was so surprised how many students really weren't aware of or hadn't thought about ethics at, at all. And I think it's really important, especially with technology and creating new technology, that we make sure our students understand that's a really important aspect. So my three rules are that it will keep humans safe on stairs. Uh, the level of help will be based on human input instead of the robot deciding how much help I need. And it will be able to self-diagnose to avoid problems and then that's it. So here is how you get the zine into its shape. I would suggest doing this folding work before you start doing the drawing because it'll just make that easier. So again, you can do it with a template or with a plain piece of paper. Um, you're gonna fold it, get this out of the way for now, you're gonna fold it lengthwise. And it doesn't have to be too precise. I have done this with all age kids. Um, sometimes I need a little bit more help with the folding, but um, it, it's really an activity that can be done elementary through middle school. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is fold it in this way. And then you're gonna fold back to the fold here on both sides. All right, and then you know, kind of go over it and make sure you got your fold nice. And then you're gonna open it all up again. Okay, now we're gonna fold it the short ways in half. And this is where you're gonna need a scissors. And on the folded side, not on the side that's open, you're gonna cut in the middle, fold just to where the next fold is. So just like that. And then you're gonna open it up again. And you wanna make sure it kinda does an accordion thing. And at this point it doesn't matter. You just wanna get it folded and you can get it back into its shape. So there you go. Front page, my robot, special powers, code of conduct. Good luck.